Hello, hi everyone, welcome to Site Process. In today's video, we're going to discuss about the cost computation in manufacturing of Odoo 19. Let's dive into the manufacturing module and let's move on to the configuration and choose operation. As we just choose the operation here, you can find the pre configured operations. Let me consider one of the operations from here or we can create a new operation. Let's say that I'm going to consider a new operation where I'll be um, providing the name of the operation as finishing. Once it's been provided, you can set the bluff material level here. So let's say that uh, disk combination is the product. And here you can also choose the work center. I'm going to consider the work center as assembly line one. If you want to apply this operation on any particular variance, you can also apply it over here. In Odoo 19, we have a new feature called cost computation, which means we can be calculate the cost based on actual resources as well as based on estimated resources. Here you can find that we have a field called default duration. So I'll be setting the default duration as 60 minutes. So the operation time is 60 minutes over here. And uh, if I'm just setting the cost computation as based on actual cost, then even if you're setting the default duration as 60 minutes and the manufacturing is just done in 15 minutes, the cost will be calculated in the actual resources or the actual time that is used by the manufacturing center. But if you're just going with based on estimated cost, even if you just take a small time duration to manufacture a particular product, the default duration will be taken away there. So as you just move on to the work center, in the assembly line one here, you can find that the cost per hour is given. And if you want to just set the cost per employee, you can also just promote that. So once it's been set over here, you can save the changes that you have made. And let's move on to the operations to manage with the manufacturing order. Let's create a new manufacturing order for the product desk combination. So here I'm going to consider um, the product desk combination. So let me choose the product disk combination. As I just choose the product disk combination, here you can see that uh, we have the components over here and under the work order, you can also find the finishing as well as the quantity and the expected duration. So here you can see, I'm just going to save the uh, manufacturing order and I'll be confirming the manufacturing order. So as I just confirmed the manufacturing order, here you can see that we can just start the process. Okay, so let me start the process and here you can see that we can just start uh, the manufacturing of the item. As I just start the manufacturing of the item, you can see it's in progress and now let's move on to the shop flow to complete the process. And here you can see that once everything is done, you can just uh, move on. So here we have, uh, uh, you can see that the time taken to complete the process. So once it's completed, you can just close the production. So here you can see that we have just done with the um, yeah manufacturing of the test combination. And let's move on uh, over here. And you can see we have just finished with process. And as you just move on to the overview here, you will be able to find that the cost is calculated for finishing. So here you can see that we have only uh, taken 70 seconds. Mm actually not been 17 seconds uh, here it's calculated in hours so it's given as point zero point zero zero seven zero hours and you can find the cost and the real cost and everything is affected over here now again let's consider the operation over here so the operation is finishing itself and i'll be changing uh, based on estimated cost over here okay so once it's been set you can again move on to the operations and let's um create another manufacturing order for the same product and let's see what is the difference uh, in the cost computa computation with the estimated cost and actual cost so i'll be uh, confirming the order as i just confirm the order here you can see that we just need to start the process okay so i'll be starting my process of manufacturing let me allocate everything and let's start the manufacturing of the item so once it's been set over here, you can see that we are in progress state and let's move on to the shop flow in order to do with the uh, finishing of the item. So here you can find the time uh, taken for manufacturing everything. 
and let's close the production right now. So once the production has been closed, let's back to the manufacturing order. So as you just move on to the manufacturing order, here you can see that the expected duration is 60 and the real duration is uh, just 20 seconds, right? As you just move on to the overview over here, you can see that as we just provide 60 minutes as the default uh, operation time, uh, the estimated time is calculated over there. Not the 20 seconds is considered. The estimated time that is given uh, under the operation is taken over here. So that is the main difference between the actual resource using as well as the uh, estimate resource using. So you can just use any of the cost computation method um, upon your choice of manufacturing of the item. So this is one of the new feature that we can find under Odoo 19 manufacturing. So, uh, in case of the, um, yeah, estimated manufacturing, you can find that the price is different from the actual uh, cost computation uh, uh, over here. And, yeah, that's all for today. So, thank you for watching the video. If you find this, vid find this video informative, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. If you want Odoo customization, Odoo implementation and Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprocess. As always, stay awesome. Bye.